What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a little bit of a review on my Cabela's Gen 4 trail camera. Um, yeah, I got this a few months ago. How long was it? I got the receipt here. I can actually just check. So, ah, I got it September 23rd, 2022. So I had it like for two months. Basically three months. Um, almost three months. Right off the bat, super happy with this thing. No complaints yet. Yeah, I guess let's just dive into the further specs and what this thing can do and how it does it. Okay guys, so here it is, close up. Um, got a latch here to open up that. Uh, let's just start from the outside, I guess. You got your belt loop with your, be obviously a uh, belt. And you got one of these, one of these clips to clip it to the tree. And you got a space for lock to lock it to the tree. And yeah, these are just grips and a tripod mount right here. And then over here you got your battery cage and a DC 12 volt port right there. And to open the battery port, you got this button here, eject that that comes loose and it takes eight double a batteries uh, to power and it says battery life lasts up to a year but that's um, also depending on what quality you're shooting in 4k 1080 HP or 720 uh, it depends on that and then just a whole bunch of different settings that you can change to be more battery efficient but then you know, you got other stuff going down like quality and um, range and stuff. Uh, let's just power out, uh, power it up. Here you got your switch. There. Click it once. That's where you control all your settings and everything. Check all your stuff. And then when you're going to set it up, you just click it one more time. And then the screen turns black. This blinks for 10 seconds. And then the camera is active and good to go. But go back to the settings page and then here you have date and time and battery life the battery life is at one bar but that keeps going up and down um, don't know what that's all about but um, if you press OK you can go on to images that's all the images you have on there I don't have any on there right now there's just me setting up the camera but this is play and pause and then here with the top arrow you scroll through that's just a video uh, another video of me setting it up yeah I don't have any videos of animals on here right now but I will show you guys some of those videos later in this video anyways so you press OK again and you're back to the main screen and then if you press menu you've got all your settings here you've got um, set clock and date um, you press OK to select that and then you can change all of those settings on there um, and then you've got photo or video choose photo video photo and video um, and you've got video size video length you can choose between all that video size you can go 4k 1080 720 um, video length you can do 10 seconds 5 seconds 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 1 minute 2 minute and yeah that's all the length of videos that you can do and then yeah oops go down go down to interval um this is the time between each video so it's on two seconds so after it's finished uh, recording that whatever how many second long video you chose that's how long it takes to start the next one and then also you got two minutes two seconds all the way up to an hour 60 minutes so that's what that is you've got a sensor level you just got on here low medium high that's sensitivity level for small movement. If there's lots of grass and sticks and stuff that are um, moving a lot, then you'll choose a little lower sensitivity so that it's not being triggered by all those 
little movements and then high sensitivity if you're just on a plane or something and there's not much moving because of the wind or something like that. Um, flash modes, we've got power save. See, that's another setting that'll last your battery life longer. Power save, you've got long range. That's longer range. You won't have as much fast motion, but longer range. And then here you got fast, fast motion for higher trigger speed, and then you won't be getting as long as a range. So there's, uh, there's those three settings. And you've got set active time here. Um, if you press on, then start to end. So if I just want it recording during the night, I would press like start up time 12 at night and then end like 8 in the morning and then that's the only time that it would be um, recording. So that's that. You've got time lapse. You can set up time lapse. Um, not much to explain there. Uh, format. That's just to delete all the SD's footage and make sure when you get this camera to do that once so that um, it runs properly. You just do that format at once. You go OK, format. Yes, I don't have any important stuff on here right now so I can format it. There. Uh, default, that's that's um, just to delete all settings. That's nothing that you need unless you want to restart all your settings. But um, yeah, that's what that is. And if we scroll down, we've got image recycle. That's just um, press on or off. That will overwrite all images and videos once the card is full. Oh, there you just language, nothing to explain there. Camera name, software update. That's just if there is a new software update, um, you press on that and then you can update it to the newest software. And then that's just the version of software that you have. So that's all the settings in here. Um, it's got a 0 0.4 trigger speed, which is not bad. It's actually pretty good. Um, and you got 48 megapixels. Um, the IR flash range is 90, and the detection range um, to detect like is 80, 80 feet. So not bad. Uh, you can detect stuff up to 80 range, but that changes also in some of the settings. Um, yeah, so that's all for what the camera has to say, and now my personal opinion. Okay, so um, that's all of that, but personal opinion on this camera, personally I think this camera is it's a good camera. Um, it, it gets the job done, it does everything doesn't have anything that's like wow over the top but um, it does everything very well that trail camera needs to get done so personally staying for the two three months that I have used it has been working really nice I've had it out under like two three feet of snow buried it out still works perfectly fine twice I had that happen big dunes blew over it and I took it out still perfectly fine so it is waterproof obviously um, so I guess I did test that um, yeah, battery life. So far, I haven't switched out any batteries. It's been three months, so we'll see uh, if it does last that year. But um, that is that battery life will shorten as you change some of the settings on it. Um, yeah, uh, price-wise, um, it's a little bit on the pricey side. It's not that cheap. I think after tax, it came. After tax came to two hundred and thirty dollars, so it is not the cheapest camera out there, but um, it is it is a quality camera. It will last you, it will, or it is at least advertised to last you a long time. But um, so far, it has been doing that. Um, yeah, but if you guys are planning on getting one or this one, it's perfect time. Black Friday's coming up um, on Monday. So if you are planning on getting this, I would wait till then and then see if they got any sales going on. But yeah, that's, I think, basically all that there is to say about this camera. There's one last look at it. Um, yeah, I would recommend it. Working good. Um, so that's all, all the specs, my opinion on it. And I'll let the videos decide for you guys.